tonight in this video we're going to have a look at um, how we fit text to a curve in Zara Extreme so let's go straight into it straighten this up a bit okay in this um, page I've already created um, one two text objects it says text objects down here um, just straightforward text objects I've also created this circle uh, ellipse to make a perfect ellipse just hold down the control P as you uh, create the uh, create the ellipse and that'll be a circle um, on a layer behind it I've also created um, that shape there as well by just intersecting two circles um, which I'll use later on it, it just saves time while I'm actually doing them okay so the thing is we want to get this letters and numbers to fit on text on this circle first thing I need to do is I'm going to fit letters on onto the outside of that circle like that and I want to fit numbers on the inside of a circle um, like that so the first thing I have to do is to duplicate that, that circle um, okay so I've clicked it I've got picked up this one ellipse uh, first thing I want to do is arrange it and convert it to edible shapes um, because you can't do anything, you can't break a shape up if it's um, a circle or a rectangle. First of all, you have to um, create edible shapes out of it. Um, right, and then I'm going to hit Control K, which clones it, makes it an exact copy. And holding down the Shift key, while well, I could drag out one of these corners, it actually drags out like that. So it drags out exactly the same and it stays over the top. Right, now I'm going to hit this inner circle. I'm going to select the uh, shape of this at all. I'm going to select this bottom node here. Uh, I'm going to select that break at points, that icon there, break at points. And I'm going to delete the map, delete that point. I'm also going to delete that point there. Similarly, I'm going to select this circle select the shape editor tool select that top point this time break at points delete select that one there again delete now I was going to select the word letters and shift holding down the shift key and with the um, select the tool click on the top line there as well go into a range fit text to curve Okay, that's fairly okay, but I want it to actually fit nicely on the top of the curve. So what I'm going to do is select the select the text tool. I'm going to sneeze in a minute. Excuse me. <laughs> Hit the snack tool. Select those letters there, uh, and I'll have to just zoom out a bit. Uh, just spread this out a bit. I'm going to move this across slightly so you can see it. Um, I'm going to hit the uh, center justify. And when I've center justified, you can now see that that text fits nicely around over those letters. I'll do the same with numbers. I'm going to select the numbers, the word numbers. I'm going to shift select the line. Arrange, fit text to curve. Ah, problem this time. I want the word numbers to be inside. What I need to do this time now is again just select the. If I hold down control, I can just. If I just hit select with the select tool, it says one text object. But if I hold down the control and click on that line, I, it says one line inside on layer two and then I can go into the shape editor tool and again I'm going to have to move this across a bit I'm going to have to hit this reverse path icon so hit the reverse path icon and now notice that the path runs the other way and numbers is on the inside again this numbers here 
if I select and drag select it right round on there, uh, is not where I want it to be. So I'll move, slide this across again, and hit the just set if justify. Uh, it's looking a lot better, isn't it? Um, I can now click on this top one, and of course I don't want the line to be showing, so I can control click to select the red line, it says down here, one line, you can see it's red, I'm going to right click to make the line no, no fill and no colour. Again, I clicked on this one, I'm going to control click just to select the line, it says one line, I'm going to click, right click to ensure that there's no fill colour. Now if I pull that one up there, you can now see that this letters and numbers fits far better into the uh, into the circle. One of the things that I haven't um, actually mentioned and probably uh, needs some attention is this numbers because it's, it's very crunched, scrunched up. So what we need to go along this time, and again I'm going to have to move along sure if you can even see this on this one um, I think I'm gonna have to move all these along just so you can show you Where's it gone now? Okay. drag these again and uh, I'm going to have to increase the tracking. I don't know if you can see that, but as I get it, the, the spacing between the the number, the letters open up. I don't want that that bigger one. I want it about there. I'll move this back here now. I'll have to put this back here, and it, because I moved it, um, the only reason I actually moved it is. Um, only reason I moved it is so you could see um, me adjusting the tracking on the letters so they weren't so close together. Anyway, um, that's the way that um, I create um, text on a curve and uh, I hope that helps some of you.